Hi there guys, welcome back to the Eastbourne Fisherman Rig Making for Complete Beginners. In tonight's episode what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the pulley dropper rig. Now I haven't really used a pulley dropper rig myself, but I know a lot of my friends have uh, and they've had good results using it for place fishing and also for uh, ray fishing and smooth hound fishing as well. Uh, so effectively what the pulley dropper is, is it's a pulley rig uh, with a dropping system which releases the snood um, and then places, places the snood a long way underneath the lead so essentially the lead will be here and your snood will run flat away from the lead at the bottom of the lead uh, again it's a, it's a pretty cool rig to be fair I do like making them it's one of my favorite rigs to, rigs to actually make um, but I, I don't really personally use it myself uh, but in this um, rig making for beginners guide we're going to be covering uh, a lot a lot of different rigs and hopefully maybe I'll try them a bit more myself um, I would use this rig on clean um, shingle onto sand, uh, ground, possibly a little bit more heavier mixed ground, uh, depending on you know if it was really heavy or if it was a little bit heavy. But yeah, let's crack on, let's make the rig, um, and then I'll let you guys be uh, the judge, and you can let me know in the comments below the video what you think of the rig, if you've used it before, and uh, you know what kind of results you've had from it. Right guys, so what you're going to need for this um, rig, to make this rig, is you're going to need shot leader, I've got grease weasel 60 pound shot leader there, uh, you're going to need a hook snood length, Again, I've got Amnesia, 20 pound hook snood. Uh, we're gonna need some beads. We're gonna need a large swivel and a small swivel. Uh, also, we're gonna need a lead clip like this for our hook to sit into. And the only difference of this rig is we're gonna need one of these. Now this is a bent, and it's called a bent rig clip. So if you look at the rig clip we've been using previously which is here this is the one we've been using for our lead to sit on and clipping in our hook now this one is slightly different because the top of the eye is actually bent to one side so it's called a bent rig clip I believe it's called so uh, yeah we're going to use one of them as well so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by cutting our shock leader grease weasel shock leader to 1000 millimeters we're then going to tie on the flat lead link onto one end of the shock leader. Using the six turn blood knots, a six twist up the line back through the bottom. Wetting the line to prevent any kind of line burn or any friction on the line caused when we pull the knot and singe the knot down so there is the knot there cutting off our tag ends and making sure we dispose of them correctly which is there so there's our first knot with our lead flat lead clip on the end what we're going to do now is just going to cut the top of our line in a nice point so feeding on components is a lot easier Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start by feeding the components on. So we've got the lead link at the bottom there with a bead. We're then going to put on our bent rig clip, which is here. Pop that on. We're then going to put on another bead. And then on goes our swivel. And then we just tie on our smaller swivel to the other end, which I'm going to do now. Same six time blood knot. Nice and easy. Making sure we wet the line. And then pulling that nice and tight. Cinch down the knot, cutting off the tag end. And there we have our main line. So we've got the lead link at the bottom there, which the lead's going to sit on. We've then got a bead, a bent rig clip, a bead, our main swivel, which is going to attach to our main line of our fishing reel. And at the other end, and at the other end, we've got our other swivel. So what we're going to do now 
is we're just going to attach our lead to the bottom of the rig clip keep that from rolling around and then what we're going to do is going to make up our snood to do this we're going to use our amnesia line I've already cut 800 millimeters of that off so what I'm going to do is So on one end I'm going to tie a swivel, again the snood line can be whatever strength you want. And on the other hand, I'm just going to tie on a hook. Hooks I'm using, Cox and Rule surfing up tied. Just because they're the first thing to hand. And they're really good hooks. Again, if you want to at this point, you can put two um, hooks on as a panel if you're fishing a bigger bait but for tonight's rig making I'm just going to be using one single hook just to demonstrate how the rig works cut off the tag end so we have now we have a detachable snood uh, you can make loads of different snoods um, and you can just clip them straight onto the rig uh, and I'll show you how to do that so we're now going to take our snood hook snood that we just made the swivel end I'm just going to clip that on to the bent rig clip on the main line of your shock leader, like so. So that's on there, that'll be free dangling on the shock leader there. And now I'm going to show you how this rig works. It's pretty, pretty cool. So, how we set this rig up then is we clip the hook into the holder at the bottom into the lead link at the bottom that will then sit like that so the top the top swivel there will be connected to your main line the small swivel will sit in that configuration so it will sit on the arm of the bait clip and that will hold your snood up like so the hook will be clipped onto the bottom of the lead that link there, the leather be at the bottom, the configuration at the top there with your swivel of your main line bent over and just clipped into the top part of that clip there, like that. Upon the cast, the rig will hit the water, the hook will come off, like so, and then it slides down the clip here will slide down all the way down to the bottom and then your snood will be fishing right underneath the lead the lead will be there and your snood will be fishing right away from the bottom of the lead i hope that's been a little bit of help for you guys uh, give it a go let me know what you think um, like i said it'll be good for targeting um, rays uh, smooth hounds and also place as well. You could bling it up with place beads. You could also put a, uh, a, 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 a double hook on it. So it'll be a panel, a pulley panel dropper. Um, and also you have the benefit of being able to detach the hook snoods like so from the clip and having multiple baited up snoods ready to just clip on. clip on and fish when you want to so that guys is a pulley dropper rig uh, thanks very much for watching if you're new here like I said don't forget to like subscribe and uh, follow me on the next rig making adventure cheers